Welcome. I'm Dr. Jerry Nolan, and this is Love is the Answer. In this segment, we're going to look at the importance of silence in our lives as a means of self-love and self-care. In the companion blog, we looked at silence and silent meditation from a strictly scientific point of view. In today's video, we're going to examine silence from a more philosophical and theological perspective. Virtually every religious tradition refers to the voice of God as silence. It may not be an audible voice, but it is a voice that has spoken to mystics of every religious tradition up and down the centuries. Rumi, a 13th century Persian poet and Islamic scholar, wrote, quote, Silence is the language of God. All else is poor translation. End quote. I am drawn to Rumi's pithy description of God speaking in silence. Certainly, there are any number of poor translations that we get from human sources on any number of topics. In the Christian tradition, meditation is less about contemplating what we might see as true, beautiful, or good. It's more an effort to be in contact with and listen to the author of all that is true, beautiful, and good. The transcendental objective of religious meditation is pretty much universal. To have any chance of hearing the voice of ultimate reality, God, whatever we want to call it, silence is the starting place. Blocking out the relentless chatter that we encounter each day. It seems a natural place to start. Blaise Pascal, the French mathematician, physicist, and philosopher, wrote, quote, all of humanity's problems stem from man's inability to sit quietly in a room alone, end quote. If you're like me, there are times, and for me, it's most times, where my mind is muddled, cluttered with the clamor and the chaos of the day. Pascal understood that we often confuse activity with productivity. That is, we spend a lot of time scurrying around, either physically or mentally, chasing phantoms while accomplishing precious little. We are seduced, we even get addicted to the hollow accomplishment of utterly superfluous activity. We do a lot of chasing and end up going nowhere. For Pascal, sitting quietly alone is a means of quieting the body and the mind to seek and then to focus on that which is most important so as to approach our daily lives from an orientation of peace and order. Approaching our lives with, from an orientation of peace and order is a really important way of practicing self-love and self-care. Science, religion, and philosophy all agree silence is a good thing. It's a good thing in our lives. It's therapeutic. We encourage you to practice whatever form of silent meditation works for you and that you find useful. We encourage you to do that as a means of self-love and self-care for yourself so that you have a full dish to serve from, not only for your students, but your family, friends, everybody in your life. We hope you enjoyed this segment. Please read the companion blog on our website, drjerrynolan.com. Watch our other videos on our YouTube channel, Love is the Answer. Follow us on Facebook, and as always, we wish you and your family an abundance of peace.